the wrong button so it's gonna be two videos instead but like I said so just starting off with those who started part two we have a five uh, five foot or 60 inch long piece of schedule 40 three quarter of an inch PVC um, I have three fiberglass markers my handy rat tail file a hacksaw some duct tape and a marker so uh, I've already cut uh, one of my um, fiberglass markers in half the other two will stay whole, but I'm at the point now to where I've got the uh, PVC and I've marked uh, an inch down from the ends on each side. So at this point, this is when you want to take your rat tail file. You're going to get you a good line going. Get that groove going. You're going to cut in um, probably about a quarter of an inch. Now, you see how that is? What I'm going to uh, do now is I'm going to turn that into more of like a, a frown face so that the knocks are better fit. So I'm going to carve around on the sides and then I'm going to eventually slope them down to look like a, uh, a frowny face. I'll be right back all right we're back for another second just want to show you what I did and I end up doing it on the other side but as you see you have this really long and crooked sort of sad face how it leans down again this is so that the uh, strings will stay in your notches a little easier so once again I'm gonna take a pause for the cows do the other side and we'll continue again this is the tutorial on the primitive pipe bow All right, we back. So as you see, I've made the uh, frowny face on both ends again, uh, marking one inch down from the end. So I'm about to take it back in and show you the magic on how we do do the uh, fiberglass core. So bear with me, everybody. I'm gonna try to show you these measurements, or even though my camera isn't that wide. So what you want to do is you want to lay out your PVC. And what you're going to do is you're going to put one of the end of your fiberglass driveway markers right at the tip of, uh, of one of your knocks. You take the other hole in and you put the other end at the other end or right at the knocks. And what you want to do now is from the end, uh, let the tape measure outside, be right back. <laughs> All right, are we back? So, like I said, you've taken your five, you, you've taken one of your fiberglass markers and you've cut it in half to where you have two two feet uh, pieces. So with the other one, you put one at the end of the knock on the right side with notch, and then another one at the end of the notch on the other side. You don't cut the other ones. And then what you do is from the uh, part that is sticking out, you know, from the other end. See if I can show this. So, let me see. So from about this end right here, of, of, of the short end from here, down to this other short end here, you're going to take a measurement of, the, of those two ends and then you're going to split that. Uh, you're gonna uh, measure that and you're gonna mark it in the middle. Line this up. So 38 inches, half a 30 is 15, half a 8 is 4. 15 plus 4 is 19. So at 19 inches, right here, you're going to mark both of those pieces in the middle. Then the next step, you're going to find, you're going to take your fiberglass markers, the ones that you cut, you're going to measure those as well, and then you're going to mark those two in the middle of themselves, which is one foot. Okay. 
the very next step is that you're going to take those pieces and you're going to line them all up so that you have that mark in the middle of all of them. It's going to look something like this where all of your marks are lined up. So I'm going to take a pause for the calls. Be right back. All right, so we're back. So as you see what I did with the duct tape, I've taken the duct tape and just make sure that on every end where there's, you know, more than one piece, you tape it so these are three 